now. Here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, temperatures in some spots running about 10 degrees warmer than what we had on Sunday. And it's a little muggier out there as well, but still a nice late summer day with dry skies on the radar this afternoon. You can see from City Cam, it's a hazy sun uh, in the afternoon hours with temperatures already up to 78. The uh, official high yesterday at the airport was only 71 degrees. And the humidity, well higher than the weekend, still not bad at 60%. We're in the middle 70s in Taunton, 73 in Newport, 74 right now in Westerly. Well, Amantic's up into the upper 70s, so is Boston and Taunton right now running at a uh, warm 76 degrees. It's right on average for this time of year, but I do expect temperatures in many inland areas to approach 80 for an afternoon high. And you can see from satellite and radar, there's not a lot going on. Some of these sort of patchy cumulus clouds that will tend to fade away as we get closer to sunset. And just a small chance in some of these batches, mainly towards western Massachusetts and northern Connecticut, that could see just an isolated shower develop this afternoon, but I'm going to call for warm and a little bit muggy conditions at the bus stop this afternoon. Temperatures running at about 75 to 80 for the second half of the day. In our uh, metro area, about 79, Central Falls, the east side and downtown, both around 80. Rumford at 79, North Providence in the upper 70s. And temperatures climbing a few more degrees this afternoon. At TF Green should top out right at 80. Garden City at 81. Uh, Barrington running at about 79. We're going to see a southwest wind, so that sea breeze should keep the coastline right where you are, at around the mid-70s. So about 74, 75 degrees. Hope Valley near 76. Coventry at about 78. Warmer and mainly sunny skies. It looks like a pleasant afternoon. Northwest suburbs. You know, still just that small chance, maybe 15% of seeing an isolated shower in our northern suburbs. I think most areas stay rain-free, though. Johnston's at about 79 for the high and 77 New Bedford. Sun, just a few patchy clouds. Seekonk in the upper 70s, Middletown at around 75, and Little Compton running in the mid-70s as well. So visibility has improved on the bay. We've got that southwest wind at 5 to 12 knots. The high tide was this morning just before 8.30. We've got a low tide coming up at around 2 o'clock this afternoon. The beaches have have given way to sunshine as well, uh, mixing with some clouds. 73 for your air temperature, water temps running at 66. And it does look warm and dry for the commute home this evening, about 71 to 77 for your temperatures in the evening hours. And this is our final evening of seeing a sunset in the 7 o'clock hour, 7.01 exactly. And then as we go into tomorrow, the sun sets at 6.59. So those days getting shorter. We head into the nighttime hours. Temperatures fall into the 60s. It's not going to be as cool as it was over the weekend. A nighttime low of about 64 degrees. Keeping an eye on Tropical Storm Maria. This storm is very disorganized this morning and has actually weakened a little bit at the 11 o'clock update from the National Hurricane Center. That's a good news. Still expected to stay offshore, passing between Bermuda and the U.S. East Coast. It right now has 52 mile an hour sustained winds, gust to 63. We may by Thursday, Friday, see some of the swells from Maria reach our coastline, which would increase the risk of rip currents at our shores once again, but not looking at a major impact from that. A fairly weak storm, especially in comparison to the last few uh, weeks that we've had in the tropics. So about 80 for today. We stay warm for Tuesday and Wednesday. Day. Best chance of a shower thunderstorm comes later Wednesday into perhaps early Thursday. It's a cold front, and that front brings with it a shot of the coolest air of the season so far. We're only going to see highs in the mid to upper 60s Friday in the weekend, and we'll see some nighttime lows in the 40s. You can get your updated future cast 24-7 on our website at WPRI.com.